Hi everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the UK for the last six years. And today is very exciting because I'm going to taste test a bunch of traditional British boiled sweets. Now today our sweets are coming to us from Joseph Dobson, who has been making these traditionally up in Yorkshire for the last 170 years. So I'm very excited. I am nervous because I don't know the flavors. But I know the Brits, and I know you guys like black licorice, which is something that <laughs> I really don't like, but I'm very excited. I hope you guys like this video, and without further ado, let's go. First up, we have these. <laughs> now, I don't know the flavors because these were very kindly sent to my Patreon P.O. Box by Mark. Thank you very much, Mark. Um, so I'm going to taste test them blind before I read what the description is. Um, but the fact that these are black fills me with dread. Cheers, everybody. Oh, God. They're spicy. Why does it have to be spicy? So these are voice tablets. Have any of you had these before? Oh my God. Honestly, I can't tell you what these taste like other than spicy. On the website, it says a unique herbal flavor. I gotta spit this out. <laughs> I'm gonna give the spicy voice tablets negative one out of six. Why is this a sweet? <laughs> No, thank you. Now, after that traumatic experience, let's do something that looks a bit less threatening. How about these ones? Red cubes. What could go wrong? Cheers. Okay, this looks funny, just ignore that. These are not bad, but I don't know what they taste like. It's like a bit fruity, but not really. So these are called cola cubes. That's so funny. I never would have guessed that. Although cola is actually like fruit based, isn't it? Like Coke and stuff is actually like fruit flavored. That's so interesting. These are really good. I'm going to give the cola cubes four out of six hard to keep in your mouth due to the shape and size cubes. <laughs> These are really good. It's just kind of hard to Maybe you're not supposed to talk when they're in their in your mouth. That's probably my issue. I should also say, if you like boiled sweets, what is your favorite, your, your, your go-to sweet? Next up, how about a white one? These. Now, to me, this looks like it would be a mint, and I don't know why. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, it is a mint. So these are mint imperials. It's just a really nice minty flavor and it is hard. It's not like a chewy kind of thing. Obviously it's a hard boiled sweet. Anyone from Yorkshire watching? A up. <laughs> Do you guys say A up or is that from someplace else? These are great. A solid eight out of eight minty goodness. You can't really go wrong with mint. That's a lie, you can, but these are great. Okay, here's the thing. Mark, God bless him, sent so many wonderful sweets and we are gonna taste test all of them. However, there's a lot of them that are black, <laughs> which knowing licorice, that sort of connection freaks me out. I think we should do one of the black ones now, actually get it out of the way. We don't wanna leave them all to the end. How about these ones? They're black and white stripes. <sighs> Cheers. Still tastes like mint from that last one. I don't know what this is. Okay, here's the thing. It tastes good. Do I know what it tastes like? No. These are also mint humbugs. <laughs> That's why it still tastes minty because it is minty. These are really nice. I don't know what makes them any different than a regular mint, but these are great. I almost feel like I like this more than the last mint, which I don't know how that's possible. Mint is mint, but this is really wonderful. Joseph Dobson, since 1850, you're doing a great job. These I'm going to give a perfect three out of three minty boys. Delicious. Next up, yellow. 
What does yellow mean? Does that mean lemon? Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's lemon. That's really lemony. Now the thing with lemon candies, I'm so sorry about this. This is probably so hard to watch. The thing with lemon candies is they remind me of these throat lozenges that I would have when I had a sore throat. And they were like a lemon and honey flavor. So while this is like a really nice lemon taste, it reminds me of being like really sick. <laughs> so if I don't think about that, these are like a really nice seven out of eight um, throat lozenges. It's a good flavor. Lemon is probably not like the most exciting. Maybe it's your favorite. Could certainly be worse, let me tell you. But it's a nice lemon hard boiled sweet. But it does make me think of being sick. So these are officially called Sherbert lemons. Oh, you guys are gonna be upset. I, that's a that's a fan favorite, isn't it? Sherbert lemons. I'm so sorry. It just reminds me of a throat lozenge. I'm so sorry. Next, how about these? More more black. These are licorice. I swear to God. Cheers. That licorice. Oh God. So these are called Nope Nose. Oh, these actually have a soft, chewy center. I'm not gonna keep it in my mouth that long, to be honest. So I just had a look on their website. These are aniseed flavor with a chewy licorice center. No, no thank you. I don't like, in Canada and America, we call this black licorice. Well, aniseed, it's basically the same thing, all right? People are gonna get upset that I said that. Black licorice is like not desirable. Licorice is because it is red and it tastes wonderful. Black licorice, no. It's what my grandma would have had in her glass dish of treats and sweets and stuff and it was always stuck to the bottom and I never chose it. And it would be in there for years. I don't know if I gave this one a rating yet. Minus five out of 10, I'm gonna have nightmares. How about red tubes? Red little like sausagey finger looking things. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, this is really good. This is definitely like a raspberry, strawberry kind of fruity situation. This is wonderful. And it's called sarsaparilla. That's so cool. I don't know how to describe sarsaparilla. Um, because I don't know how to describe sarsaparilla. So I just Googled it and um, some people say that it's very similar to root beer, which I get. It's like a, like I've only ever had it as like a drink, like a pop, but it's so rare and it's not very like, a, it's not really a popular flavor, I would say in North America, at least from my experience that I can't, can't really explain it. But these are wonderful. Are these probably my favorite so far? I think so. I'm gonna give these Two out of two and a half root beery sphere cylinder shapes. These are great. And I honestly thought this was like raspberry or something like really plain. I never would have guessed sarsaparilla. All right, well, can we all get a rest in peace in the comments for my stomach? Next up, we have these, which may be brown or black, and they're all individually sealed. Why is that? I'm suspicious. Okay. Oh, they are brown. Cheers. That's like a caramel. Like a chocolate or like a caramel. Oh, like really caramel. That is so strong. Whether I like the flavor or not, <laughs> I really appreciate that all of these have such a strong flavor right? It's not like, oh, this doesn't really taste like anything. They all taste like something. It's just whether you like it or not. This tastes like caramel, like a Werther's, like a toffee. I'm not totally sure, but something like that. And these are called bonfire toffee. So on the website, it says, um, made with real butter and treacle. 
That's what it is. These are actually great. These might be my favorite. Like I'm not totally sure about them, but I'm also like really intrigued. I'm gonna give the Bonfire Toffees a shocking nine out of 10.4 cans of black treacle. It's a really interesting flavor and it's hard to describe. I kind of don't like it, but I also kind of like really like it. <laughs> Which, to be honest, is one of my favorite things when it comes to taste tests. Finding something that is so, like, I am not sure if I hate this or I love it. But I think I love it. Next up, we have pink and yellow. Does this mean anything to anyone? Have you been able to guess what they are based on the color and the shape? Like, how well known is that? I don't really know. But one can hope this is not black licorice. Cheers. Oh, this is custard. This is really custardy. Custard in something red. Strawberry, raspberry. I actually don't like these. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I imagine these are a fan favorite. Here's the thing, if you like the custard flavor, you're gonna love these. Because I've never tasted anything more custardy Besides custard itself. Rhubarb and custard. I should have guessed rhubarb, of course. I'm sure these are very popular. And let me tell you, they're very flavorful, but I am only now just realizing that I don't like <laughs> rhubarb and custard. Shocking, I know. Who would have thought I'd be sitting here saying no to rhubarb and custard and yes to black treacle? What has happened to me? I'm gonna give these four out of seven um, cans of custard. Very flavorful, I just don't like it. <laughs> okay, if you thought we were done, you'd be wrong. How about white cubes? Mysterious. Big shout out to Mark. Thank you so much again for sending this to the Patreon PO Box. If you would like to support me while receiving full length videos every week, punch plus a bunch of other like exclusive perks and everything, please consider joining me on Patreon. It's very, it's very helpful. It's very supportive. <laughs> it's really helpful. Cheers. Oh. This is a mint cube. Sorry, this is like so big, it's hard to like put it in my mouth. I almost need to like cut it in half. The texture on this one is weird. It is definitely mint, mint cake. I think I like the mint, the black and white ones as the mint ones so far. It's a great mint, but the texture is kind of like flaky. And I think I like the other texture better, but it's still really good. I'm gonna give the mint cakes four out of five cakes of toothpaste in a square. It's really hard to get mint like totally wrong. There are some things that I've had that I wish I hadn't that were mint flavored. All of the mint ones so far have been great. These ones are just like a different type of texture. Like it's like a different, it's formed in a different way. Fascinating. Next up, we have red and white. So these look very similar to custard and rhubarb. So do we think this is rhubarb and mint? Milk? One of the things that I really don't like about the UK um, milk gummies, like milk bottles, is just a really messed up idea. I don't know who came up with that. I do not like it. If this is mint, I will riot. Cheers. I don't know what that is. It doesn't taste like custard and it doesn't taste like mint. Is it actually milk? If it's milk, it's actually not that bad, oh no. I really don't know. My heart thinks that it's some sort of like milk or cream and then like a rhubarb strawberry type top. Pear drops, what? I never ever in a million years, if you asked me, if you told me this is a fruit, Alana, what fruit is it? Never would I ever, ever, ever think pear. 
But to be honest, these might be my new favorite. These are really good. We don't have enough pear flavored stuff, do we? Think of a pear flavored candy. I bet you can't. These are wonderful. We should have more pear products. I'm gonna give this seven out of seven surprising pears. <laughs> these are awesome. Next up, I've saved these ones because they look really fun. This is like an assorted collection. Now these might be difficult because I imagine they all taste different. Like it's like a, like a pick and mix type situation. So, well, let's open it up first. Now, some of these I recognize. I don't know if they are the same, but let's have one that we don't have. Let's try this sort of orangey square. Cheers. Oh, that's like orange, like straight up orange. That is so good. This is delicious. I am gonna say this is some sort of mix, some sort of mixture. One second. That is divine. I'm gonna say this is some sort of Joseph Dobson mix. Yorkshire mixtures, right on. So on the website, apparently Yorkshire mixture contains an assortment of 18 different sweet varieties. So there's banana, cherry fish, lime, tablet, lemon slice, pineapple, orange, which we just had was delicious, raspberry, strawberry, tangerine, voice tablet. No more voice tablets. This is great. I mean, how can you go wrong with so many different flavors? And the fact that they are so strong I really do appreciate. This is a beautiful 12 out of 12 wonderful flavors. <laughs> this is great. The fact that there's so, like just looking inside, there's so many different types. This is gonna keep me guessing all day. I love it. And we have another spooky black, brown slash black pre-sealed sweet. <laughs> if this is licorice, it shouldn't be, right? We've had a licorice. Will we have more than one licorice? I hope not. Cheers, everybody. Oh, this tastes very similar to the Bonfire Toffee. They both were the same color, so this must be like a variation, but it has that treacle. If anything, the treacle's stronger, but it has that sort of like, caramelly sort of butter taste. Treacle toffee, hey, I'm getting better. Yeah, these are surprisingly really good. They're quite heavy for a sweet, I think, because it's like that, you know, black treacle kind of taste, but they're really good. Are they better than the bonfire toffees? I don't think I can tell that much because they're both really good. I'm gonna give the treacle toffee four and a half out of five brown pre-sealed sweets. <laughs> These are surprisingly good. If you had told me that I would like a treacle type flavored hard boiled sweet, I would probably say to your face that you're lying. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mark who sent such wonderful treats to the Patreon PO Box. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna check me out on Patreon, by all means, I would absolutely love it. If you would like to watch more videos right now, why not check out this video where I try Britain's weirdest snacks. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.